Hi guys, today we have another fruit picking video. A beautiful sunny afternoon. We have uh, lemon balm freshly popped up with all this rain and um, also some uh, yummy greens. watercress all right let's make our way now over to the fruit past these uh, beautiful geranium and here we have lots of beautiful lavender guys we need color as well not only fruit in the garden And these are the beautiful calisthenes, an indication that uh, spring is well, well on its way and we're moving towards uh, summer. So today's fruit is this one here guys. Well this is the flower but we're gonna pick the fruit and I'll have my assistant here Kim. Hey Kim, thanks for joining us today. You're welcome. And the fruit is called Cape Gooseberry or Falsa. It's got many names. Kim, you can start picking on your side and I'll start picking on my side. Okay. Oh, wow. Don't fall over because there's a lot of... Um... There's some on the ground that fell already. Really? Yeah. Oh, these oh, just wow. fell. They're, uh, they're so ripe. They're falling right off. Yeah, I just, I just touched this branch and a dozen fell to the oh, ground. Wow. Oh, my gosh. They're ripe. They're ready. Yep. Yum. So whilst Kim is picking, I'm going to let you guys know about this um, plant. I've had it here for, well, about five, six years. And uh, I had to train it. Otherwise, it would become a, a creepy crawler. It just crawls everywhere. There's the um, label, which I still have. And uh, highly recommended. It starts to, to fruit in winter around um, August here in Melbourne and right through spring. How are we doing there, Kim? <sighs> I got lots here to pick. I'm just waiting for her to fill up the bowl so I can pick some on my side. Huh? What you doing, Kim? Wow. <laughs> Here you go. Thanks. There you go, guys. They're falling on the ground as she as she shakes the um the, the plant. So, pick pick some just fall off and some you struggle to pull them off. Yeah, most of them just fall. So guys, an abundance. Falsa. Or as we call them, Cape Cooseberry. Wow, there's another crop coming too. Yeah, for um, late spring or early summer. Wow. Oh, and there's some over by the cherry tree. Oh, get those right there. They're growing in that pot. Oh, there's a there's a plant itself, uh, a volunteer that planted itself in the pot here. What is that? That's a, a Cape Gooseberry. Oh, great. Yeah. This is where I was growing the Vietnamese mint. Oh, that's great that we're going to have another thing of, I love these gooseberries. Mm-hmm. Yay. And right under this uh, Bing cherry tree, look what is growing. It's a volunteer Cape Gooseberry. Can you guys believe it? I don't think there's any fruit here though yet, Kim. It's no, coming. I, I don't think this is ready yet. Yeah, they're still coming. Right? No, I don't think it's ready. They're um, still green and flowering. So, <sighs> that self um, started. 
on the on the cherry all right Kim is going to uh, sample the Cape gooseberries how do they taste Kim mm. I know you like the um, the falsa I love Cape gooseberries all right what do they taste like I've had um, people ask me to describe the taste of the fruit we grow and they say can you please say more than just um, wow and yummy this is um got a citrus kind of taste to it yes and it's got sort of like a lemony lime uh, sugar kind of taste mm -hmm. that's how I can describe it okay like a berry a berry mixed with um, some lime and lemon okay so this is how she opens it mm. Very good. So they're like husks, paper husks. Mm -hmm. We have a bit of a wind, of course, it's Melbourne. What would it be like without wind? We don't know. We don't know, guys. It's always windy here. You want to taste it? Yeah, I'll try one. And you tell me what you think the taste is. Mmm. Good. Oh, wow. That was a really big one. They're all good. Very juicy and tangy great breakfast okay we're gonna take these inside to enjoy over the next um well few hours because these don't have much of a of a, a life span right so that's why you won't find them for sale at, at the market grow your own guys so you don't have to um miss out thanks for being the model today kim you're welcome all right guys thank you for watching and uh we're going to be showing you more fruit from the garden taste tasting um cherries as well that are coming yep the cherries are coming next month not next month in december and of course the low pots are ready now but we'll do that on another day okay guys thanks um for joining us and we'll catch you from the next video please like share and subscribe yay